at San Diego in California with Matthew Saad Mohammed defending his WBC light heavyweight title. Now, the experts have not been really assured of his credentials, but his recent performances have convinced them that he is now one of the finest light heavies ever. His destruction of John Conte and their return was quite astonishing. Saad Mohammed's opponent just hours ago was the London-based Zambian Lottie Mwali, a powerful customer and a crowd pleaser, who'd fought his way to the position of number one contender, and en route to his Commonwealth title, he graduated from the role of John Conte's sparring partner. So it's Matthew Saad Mohammed, the holder against Lottie Mwali for the WBC light heavyweight title, and ringside in San Diego is Reg Gutteridge. So there it is then. Is this going to be a surprise for Matthew Saad Mohammed, Lottie Mwali? whom he really doesn't know very well and hasn't even seen on film. Scheduled, of course, for 15 rounds of the WBC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World, round one. And Lottie Mawali attempted finds himself well with his name on the white front. trying to stamp his authority in the first minute. He's not backing off. And a very confident start indeed by Mawali. Matt Saab Mohammed is uh, a nature of slow starter, but he's, he got off quickly with Louis Pergo in the previous defence. This is his fifth defence of the light heavyweight team. Twice defeated Britain, John Conte. Well, he's opening up well there, Mawali. I expected him to be a slightly more cautious or even respectful at the start, but he hasn't bothered. He's waited long enough for this. Twice appeared at Olympic Games without boxing in Munich and Montreal. Overweight and then an African walkout. Well, that really was a cumbersome right hand by the champion. And we always wonder with Matthew Saab Mohammed with so many hard fights now, whether they may have caught up with him a bit, whether his reflexes are just dull. So the countdown then for the opening round, and a good one by the challenger. And what a reception in the African's corner there with those talking drums really blazing away. And a good chance of deafening the commentator, I would think, as much as inspiring Mawali. Well, uh, in the champion's corner there, Sam Solomon, who's been around with him a long time now, must be saying, don't treat this fellow lightly. He wasn't uh, scared of you at all. So into round two then. And a good start by Lottie Mawali from Zambia who has done quite a lot of his boxing in uh, Britain and in fact is trained at the Highgate Gymnasium by George Francis who handled, among others, John Conte, Bunny Johnson. This is the 12 stone, 7 pound division. Well, Mawali was head-hunting there, but he got away with it. He didn't switch any punches to the body, but he really was nagging around Matthew Saad Mohammed's head there with some blows. And the chance in Mawali's corner for Gunzani 
in African uh, or Zambian, it means wicked puncher. But Mickey Duff and George Francis suggesting it's back to the jab, midway through round two. Well, he's not bothering to pave his way in with that left hand because he's catching the champion fairly comfortably with a right hand punch. But he can't afford to be careless. Matsar Mohammed soaks it up well, comes again. And the gun shield has come out by Mawali, but he's ignored that. Now this is where Mawali has got to have that chin tested. If he absorbs a punch as well as he gives one, he's in with a good chance. There's enough punches in the opening rounds to last all 15. Very cumbersome with that right hand. That's, that's the worst thing the champion does. It's almost novice-like the way he throws that. He'll get caught with a countering left hook as we go then to the countdown of the second round. second round the right hand from Mawali it's as though Matt Saab Mohammed expected that to come and not a bad flurry a few misses but a few hits that's a good punch right through the middle of his guard there and there's Lottie Mawali and uh, the manager Mickey Duff saying push this man on his back foot he can't throw punches from there Into round three, then, of this WBC light heavyweight championship with the challenger Lottie Mowali from Zambia making a good start and confusing the hard man from Philadelphia there, Matt Saad Mohammed, the champion. He was very surprised by the rush start by Lottie Mowali, but the challenger being unbeaten, he can afford to go in and take a few liberties, but he's still got to be careful because this fellow can hit as John T Conti would tell you. <laughs> Again there, Matt, the champion there missing with that right hand. Still haven't got out of the habit of calling him Matt Franklin until he changed it to the Muslim name. It's all a question of the long distance stammer and the assumption that it goes to the limit. That's when uh, the chips could be down for Mowali, but not the way he's going at the moment. Oh, and a good shot there, the left hook. The one he's been showing early on has caught Mowali. He is in trouble in the middle of the ring. His legs are going a bit. Can he hold on? Can he last the round out? 13 seconds. I doubt it. He's pinned in his own corner. He should grab the champion and try to survive, but I don't think he's going to make it. He was going well. Tagged by the left hook. Will the bell save him? Yes, it has. Well, Mowali's seconds now really got to douse him with water. Tony Perez, the referee, in slow motion now. We'll see that left hook. There it is. And it's a wonder that he didn't go down for that. He didn't know how to keep control there. He was caught square, tagged right on the point of the jaw. 
and if the champion had controlled himself that much more I think he could have nailed him but full marks to Mawali he has taken those punches well and managed to last the round out and he's looking across there wondering what, what this man's going to do as he comes out for the next round now has he recovered it must take a lot for a man to do that so round four now and the champion will come gunning now surely for Lotte Mawali having nailed him with the almost a perfect left hook and caused the champion really to take punishment and flounder and they're screaming now in Mawali's corner to keep his hands up just lacks that experience in this type of rough company on how to grab and get out of trouble when hurt. both of their punches now every punch is a potential knockout one they're not just feeling their way in there and the big stuff's coming from Matt Saab Mohammed he's letting a punch or two drop low he's aiming to that body now to bring Mawali's guard down and the referee congratulating him on breaking when he asked him to He measured it in the third, and in the fourth, it's as perfect a knockout punch as you'll ever see. The man who's hardly been on the canvas as an entire amateur and pro career, Lotti Mawali, who started those first two rounds in style, became overconfident. Matthew Saab Mohammed with a really champion finish there. You couldn't get it more complete than that. And in replay now, here comes the big punches. The, the right hand just caught him on the temple to start the damage. The left traveled up in an uppercut motion. And over he went, and he was out long before he hit the floor. Back. Saad Mohammed going over there saying, well, we called each other a few names before the fight, but now that it's all over, we're pals again. Are you all right? A little bit of compassion there from the champion. Invincible, isn't he, at the moment? His fifth defense of the WBC Light Heavyweight Championship. The man who really nailed John Conti twice, first on points and then on a knockout, has now done it to John Conti's former spa mate and gym partner, Lottie Mawali of Zambia. And you really can't argue with that. Well, champ, you first couple of rounds looked a bit rough, and then you came up with a perfect knockout. Tell yeah. us about it. Well, he's a very good outstanding boxer. Lati Mawali is a good, very good counter puncher. Uh, I'll tell you, England has them. Yeah, it has very good uh, boxers, you know. But as always, I'm always uh, in condition. I told you that I would be in the best of condition uh, for this fight. But uh, I'm ready. A long way, bar. Well, you're defending the championship all the time. He caught you a few fair punches early on. Yes, he did, but, uh, you know, I had to get away uh, some punches in order to get mine off, you know, and my, my stepfather here, John Santos, had told me, you know, uh, go out there and get him because this is his birthday, and I'm celebrating his birthday. And I ain't letting nothing like Latimoli stop me, but he's a very good fighter. He's a hell of a... Uh, prospect to be a, a, a champion. Well, anyway, that was a champion performance by you, Matthew, <laughs> I must say. Well done once blessed. again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Allahu <laughs> Akbar. Well, I'm not sure quite what that means, but I think it indicates he was delighted with the result of that fight. And the fight was organized by the Muhammad Ali Sporting Promotion Organization.